Hey guys, hope you're all okay. In today's video, we are going to learn how to make a fortune teller. Some of you may have already made these before, but it's a really fun little game and you can go and try it out with any of your family members or anyone that you're at home with. So to start with, I've got an A4 piece of paper. If you have a square piece of paper, you can use a square piece, but I'm gonna show you how to turn your um, A4 piece of paper into a square. So all you need to do is, oh, I've got a couple of pieces here, is just fold, pick up one corner and match up this top line with the side line. So I'm gonna fold across and it starts to look a bit like a triangle. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do is this, where this line's been created here, I'm gonna bend this back on itself so that I've created another line. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this rectangle off. I used to make these when I was younger and what I used to do is I used to then use this rectangle to make an even tinier one. So I'd then make two squares out of this piece and then make really tiny fortune tellers. So there we have our square. And now we've already created one of these lines for us, which is really handy. And then what we're gonna do is fold it the other way to create the other line that we need. So try and be nice and careful, match up the lines. There we go. So I've now got all the lines. And what I need to do now is fold these corner points to the center. So let's do that now. So there's one, turn it round. There's another one. Three out of four. And then four out of four. Perfect. Right, now we've got this. What we need to do is flip the piece of paper over and you can kind of see the squares already on the back. So what we're gonna do is to this center point again, fold the corners in again. So there is one. There's another. There we go. And last one. It's super easy, this craft. So a nice quick one for you today. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold it in half and give it a little press down and then fold it in half the other way and press it down. And then this is a little bit tricky, but what you need to do is pop your fingers into these little slots that have been created. So there's two and then the other two will appear. And there we go. And now it's up to you how you want to decorate it. What I've done on this one is I've used colouring pens and just a normal pen. And what I've done is I've done numbers. So, okay, let's say we pick number five. I'll go one, two, three, four, five. And then I've got colours in the inside. So I'm now going to pick purple. So P-U-R-P-L-E. And now I'm going to pick yellow. And then I'm going to go under the yellow and it says I've got to do 10 star jumps. So off I go to do that task now. So there we go, guys. So you can do that. Have lots of fun. Enjoy it. I know a lot of people use them differently in terms of what you put numbers or colours on the inside. So you can have a play about and it's just a really fun, quick craft to do. I hope you enjoy.